If you work in a service-based business, you've heard of scope creep before. It can kill your company's bottom line and it can burden your team with unnecessary work. If you get asked to do work that's out of scope, here's what to do. First, acknowledge and document the request. Some companies use a change order, which is a process for tracking these kind of requests. It's really best to meet with the client to understand the request. There are really three categories of scope creep, completely unrelated work, work that expands the current scope, or work that extends the project timeline. Once you understand the request, communicate clearly why it's not in scope. Always walk through a copy of the scope to make this really clear. Once you clarify that a change is needed, document and communicate that change. And most importantly, ask the client to recognize the change in writing. Paper trails can save your butt. Then send over your scope revision or a new scope for signature. This is important. Don't start any new work until you have that signature. Working through an out of scope request really is a great way to add value. It shows you're willing to be a great partner for your client, but it can be really tricky. So it's good to have a plan in place.